Hey y'all, it's Jayla and let's install French curl braids from start to finish. If you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family and let's get right into the video. Let's get this parting situation started. Parting is my least favorite part of doing braids, y'all. I hate parting. I'm not that good at it. So let's just get it over with, okay? I'm a little more lean about how my parts look. By the way, this is my new favorite parting tool. This is an edge brush from Baby Tress. And y'all, when I tell you it works so much better than using a regular rat tail comb, this metal end don't be doing nothing for me. Whereas this, like because of the way that it's tapered, it just actually parts my hair a lot better. So I've been using this to part my hair for the last couple protective styles y'all have seen me do. We're gonna switch from our big mirror to our handy dandy three-way mirror this is the best thing that i've ever bought off of amazon y'all this is the way that i've been doing my hair and being able to see the back of my hair when i'm parting and i'll link this above and in the description box below if you're interested in buying this exact mirror it does come with a light but i haven't charged it in a while so the light's not turning on but it does have a light which is really really cool whenever i post protective style videos i always get questions about how i part the back of my head so this is exactly how I do it. And again, I'll leave this mirror linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to shop this exact mirror. It is a game changer, y'all. Just like, trust me on that one, okay? So I'm going to part my hair in sections right now. I like parting my hair in sections just so it feels a little more manageable when I'm working through those sections and braiding. I'm doing two sections in the front, basically like a middle part. And then I'm going to part the top of my head off because this is the thickest part of my hair, y'all. It's actually ridiculous how thick my hair is right there. And then in the very back, I'm just going to do two sections. And I'm going to twist the section that I'm going to start working on. So that's what you see right now. And let's go ahead and get to braiding, y'all. So I'm showing you the French curl braiding hair. I ordered this hair off of Amazon. I will go ahead and link it in my Amazon storefront. And I ordered two different colors from two different companies. So the first company you see, I ordered 350, which is this beautiful auburn red color. Okay, giving very much Ariel inspired, a little mermaid vibes. And you can see what that hair looks like. This hair is from a completely different company. And this is the color 2730. And as you can see, sis, the hair ain't curling. Okay, the French ain't Frenching like it's supposed to French. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more later on. But just showing you the two colors that I'm going to be putting in my head. And I went ahead and separated the hair all on my spool rack. And we're going to go ahead and get to braiding, okay? So I finished that very first row in the back. And as you can see, I moved my freeway mirror to my living room. So I'm going to continue to use it as I'm doing the back of my head. So as you see, I'm basically parting out my rows. And then I'm going to part out each section. Crooked period we love a diagonal part and then i'm going to go ahead and install these braids now i am doing knotless box braids with this french curl hair if you're interested in a detailed tutorial on how to do knotless box braids on yourself i'll go ahead and link that above for you so you can go ahead and watch it i really do think that you should go watch the tutorial because right here i'm not really tutorialing okay i'm just trying to work through <laughs> work my way through it to be quite honest with y'all i wanted to do traditional box braids with the knot but this hair is really silky and also very slippery i really couldn't get my bearings when i was trying to work with this hair so knotless actually felt like the easier option but yeah you can see how those braids are looking and i'm going to go ahead and just install these knotless braids remember when you're doing knotless braids you really are working on the thickness of your natural hair so it's not going to be as full and voluminous as if you were to do traditional box braids. So that's just a give and take. If you're wondering whether you should do knotless or traditional, you kind of have to weigh those pros and cons, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and just let you watch me install this hair. One other thing I want to mention is that you're going to see some braids are strictly the color 350. And some braids are going to have that 2730 mixed in. I kind of just went with the flow. I wanted the majority of my head to be the color 350 with some peekaboos of the 2730. 
So some braids like the one that I'm doing right now are going to have both colors in it. But just kind of go with the flow, do what you do, and I'll show you what the end result looks like as far as the colors if you want to mimic exactly what I did. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to keep braiding. y'all one super important part of doing french curl braids is how you secure the end so just in case you didn't know you do have to like tie a knot in these braids in order for it not to slip out because the hair is so silky kind of like baby doll hair it's not going to hold just with the braid itself okay you have to go in and put a knot and as you can see i'm doing two slip knots so i'm making like the number four with the hair and I'm tying it and then I'm even tying it twice more just to really make sure that that knot is secured in there. Now I did have some issues with some of the braids slipping out which is crazy because I'm really knotting this up. But you do have to go ahead and do that so I just wanted to show you that process and I'll show you that whole process again of how I secure the ends. So basically what I'm doing is braiding past my natural hair. You can see my natural hair is black, so it's kind of easy to see where my natural hair ends. I'm going to braid past my natural hair, and then I'm going to secure the braid with a knot, okay? I'm doing a slip knot, and I'm going to tie that twice, and then I'm going to tie two more knots in that hair um, just to really try to secure the hair, okay? Um, that's one thing I really just didn't enjoy about this whole process is having to knot hair. It just, I don't know. I much rather like braid all the way down and dip the ends, but you can't do that with this French curl hair. Um, if you dip the ends, it'll kind of mess up the curl pattern at the bottom. So knotting it is the best solution. I also have seen people add like some glue, like some nail glue. That might be a good idea. I ain't really feel like doing all that, y'all. But you can see again how I'm knotting the hair to try to secure the ends. Okay. What I 
am going to do is go ahead and finish off these ends. So as you probably heard, the French curl braiding hair does have its fair share of tangles, as you can see, okay? So what I did last night and what I'm gonna do again is cut off any of these straggly ends that y'all see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue magic hair grease to my ends to again help it to not tangle up so much et voila les french curl braids <laughs> i'm so sorry i do not know how i did the accent but this is how my hair turned out, y'all. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm just showing you um, me outside with the braids in my head. I was loving it, okay? I put some extra braids. I did a, frick, a fishtail braid on top of the French curl braids. Like, I was really wearing this hairstyle. And I really did enjoy it um, for the three weeks that I wore this hair before it looked atrocious, okay? So now I'm just going to show you what my hair is looking like. And I'm also going to show you my maintenance routine and how I have been maintaining these box braids and how I'm going to stretch it a little bit more before we decide to take down, okay? Look at the ends, child. The ends is raggedy. Raggedy and not curly anymore. But let's get into the maintenance routine. Finally, time to part with our French curl braids. So I'm going to show you quickly how I take down my hair. I'm going to go in with my scissors and cut right underneath my natural hair. Again, I can see my natural hair pretty clearly because it is black while the braiding hair is very bright red and blonde, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut underneath my natural hair and then unravel this braid, making sure that I take it all the way loose even at the top. And then I'm just going to detangle a little bit with my fingers and that is how you remove French curl braids. It's a pretty easy process so I'm just going to let you watch and learn.
many thoughts about this hairstyle and so many tips and tricks I want to give y'all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also stay tuned because I'm going to give you a little preview into the part two of this video. I'm here to tell you all about French curl braids before you put them in your head. You absolutely need to watch this video because I have so many regrets. 